Hey Tubers, Tubizzle here. I know I haven't posted in a month. Like I just checked my last video and it said a month. My last video I posted a month ago. Which is crazy because anybody who's on YouTube knows if you want to be like a big YouTuber. In like the terms of not like money wise like fame or anything. But if you want to have like a nice following and stuff you have to post consistently. So, I need to work on that. But here I am again with another comic book haul. This honestly should be a later comic book haul because I got a bunch of comics before. I order a lot of stuff online as you're seeing through a lot of my videos and a lot of my hauls. But, um, this is actually going to be a comic book haul number four since I didn't post anything for like the last month which is crazy I'm trying to do better but anyway on to the comic book haul I'm just gonna do better um so first off I got some free comic books from free comic book day I literally don't even know what when that happened and I feel bad because I would have loved to have went um, so the first one is Firepower, which it looks interesting. I have read none of these with, like, the exception of one that I forgot to add in here. Um, then we have The Boys, number one, and then Riverdale. The Ties That Bind. This looks interesting. I'm a fan of the Riverdale like show. It's it's a hot mess. That's what makes it fun to watch because it is a hot mess. Um then Street Fighter one hundred. Then we got some Stranger Things. Then Power Rangers! Look at it, Blood Peep. Road to the Ranger Slayer. <gasps> Whoa. You know, I bought the Power Rangers, like, PS4 video game. And it's okay, I guess. A lot of people say that it's better online, which I need to check that one out. Because I would love to use like more rangers than what we're given but in my defense I personally I really like using the Magna Defender mm -hmm. on the game for the PS4 but anyway um these are some of the ones that I purchased we got Batman the adventure continues number two uh, okay I know I said one, but I actually read two, because I already read this one. And this shit, like, made me mad. Like, you put her in the cover, like, on the cover, Annie, like, she's gonna be a part of it. And all she was, was this quick thing to piss Tim off. That's it. But this book is good. I highly recommend that you get, like, number one and number two because it's very good i really hope if this book gets like more popular that they consider making or like doing like a continuation like the animated series like in visual well this is this technically would be like a visual form but i mean like a tv show or something like that or hell do another thing i mean but i'm getting like oh and my comments just stopped okay so Okay, and then we got Batman, 100 page giant discipline. I, I literally bought this because I saw Poison Ivy. For those of you who don't know, I love Poison Ivy. Like, Poison Ivy and Catwoman are two of my favorite female villains. Among, like, my many others. But I do have a video on my channel. You can check that out and see my favorite female villains. So, check that out. Please. Um, 
Yeah, and then we got Young Justice. The amalgamation of Bart Allen. I bought this because I read like the last issue. I love Bart Allen. Him being in a book written by Bendis. Um, how do I feel? Eh. He did it as better, but whatever. Um, then I bought Legions of Heroes number seven. Again, this is another, eh, it looks interesting. Oh, and then I got Teen Titans. 43, which I'm excited. It looks good. I like the cover. It's very interesting. Then we got Batman, number 45. Batman Beyond. And you can see Damien there. That's awesome. Then we got X-Men versus Fantastic Four. Number four. I hate Franklin's hair. I'm 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 not sorry. I hate his hair. I miss the blonde. Why blonde? Why? Why did you think that was a good idea? I uh I can't stand it. But this looks interesting. I hope it's good. Then we got the Empire like series. We got X-Men. Then more Empire, we got Avengers and Fantastic Four. Then we got Fantastic Four Empire number one. Oh, and all the Empires are number one, too. Then we got Fantastic Four issue number 21. I really like this cover. Look at Wolverine, what a Peter. I miss Peter. Oh, and then these are some of the collector's issues that I picked up when I was at the store. Um, this is Storm, Prelude to the Wedding of the Century. Mm, her and T'Challa getting married. I love this artwork. It looks gorgeous. This is a complete collection of that series. Then I got Catwoman, one to four, in the ruins of the innocent, the Batman's enemy is born, sounds ominous, um, and the one thing I like is this says suggested for mature readers, which makes me happy because I want like comic books that are more mature. Like that's why I really enjoyed like a DC black label for what it was when it was starting out. Um then we got Genesis number one but then this is a complete collection so I'm gonna turn that over and it's number four And then we got Ultimate Adventures. I literally have no idea who like these characters are. I honestly I bought this cover because I saw like the kid with like the costume and he's probably gonna be a sidekick. And I love like kid sidekicks even though <laughs> reading Death in the Family still makes me sad about like sidekicks <laughs> mm, death in the family makes me sad about everything but yeah um then we got some graphic novels we got volume three of neil gaiman the sandman then we got sgu Stargate Universe. I love the Stargate series. I'm currently on season 7. 
of Stargate SG-1, and I absolutely adore it. It's so much fun. This is Volume 1. Then we got Death by Neil Gaiman. This is the story of Death. Um, Dream's sister. This looks interesting. Can't wait to dig into that. Then we got Clive Baker's Neil Barker's Nightbreed, which they all look cool. Then to finish this off, we have American Gods Volume Two in Volume One. I'm excited. Personally, I like the American Gods TV show. I'm excited for season three. I am. I'm, it kind of sucks that, like, Mr. Nancy won't be coming back. And it sucks that, like, Mr. didn't even make it to season two. Because I enjoyed Mr. I thought she would have been a fun addition. But, I mean, what you gonna do? People want more money. So I guess, it, yeah, that happens. But yes, these are the comic books that I had picked up on Wednesday. No, wait, actually, I picked them up on Thursday because I had some business to take care of on Wednesday, so I didn't get to go. So yes, Thursday, ugh. My days are all screwed up thanks to this whole thing that's going on. You know what's going on in the world. And it's crazy. I just want it to end so we can get back to like normalcy. Okay, so I uh, hope you enjoyed this comic book haul. This would be comic book haul number four. I'm probably going to have a bunch of these posted today because I need to catch up so thanks for watching tubers bye